This is Ross Halfin. This is my diary of Iron Maiden on tour in South America. If there's bits missing or gaps or it jumps too much for you, this is probably due to alcohol fueled memory loss. But anyway, it's meant to be fun and I hope you like the pictures and I hope it gives you some sense of where we are. January the 9th, Mexico City. We all wake up at the crack of dawn due to the fact we're all jet lagged coming in from London. I look out and it's actually quite a nice day considering it's the middle of winter. Get the band to go out to the pyramids where I decide we should go and do a shoot. I try and come here every time I come to Mexico City. It's called the Sun and Moon Pyramid. It's 45 minutes drive from Mexico City. It's actually called Teotihuacan. This was taken at 5pm in the afternoon just as everyone had left so you can get an idea of the size of the pyramid with the band there. Where they're standing is called the altar of death where they used to do sacrifices. This is the band still on the altar of death except I've zoomed in a bit so you can see a bit more of what it's like. I hope it gives you an idea of the vastness and the scale of the pyramid. I like these pictures of Steve because he's messing around and posing for me. They were taken on the way back to Mexico City where we'd stopped off to get a drink. He doesn't normally do this and I like the fact he's not so stiff. This is a shot of Yannick, Nico and Steve holding a banner that had been thrown up during the show. It's of the band as Mexican bandits, including Eddie as Pancho Villa. I took this after the show. There really should have been some pictures of the show to go with this, but as the band walked on stage it started to rain, and it rained solidly for two and a half hours and became impossible to shoot the show. January the 13th, Buenos Aires. Go out for the day to shoot the band in a graveyard I've found. It's where Eva Peron is buried. The graves are the size of houses. I mean, bigger houses than even I live in. It's enormous. This photo I actually really like is of the band outside the hotel as a football team with a load of fans who were waiting to sign autographs. This is Steve backstage with his laminated all-access pass at Vélez Stadium. He was actually very nervous. He was just before he went on stage in front of 40,000 people. January the 14th, Santiago, Chile. Get up at 6am, fly 45 minutes to Santiago. Amazing view of the Andes. The record company buys us dinner at the hotel. I have my picture taken next to a very intoxicated Nico and Dave who'd been trying to play golf at night. January the 15th, Santiago. Take Steve up first to the roof of the Sheraton. He's standing very still because he's got vertigo and is terrified of heights. In fact, I was as well. It was so high we were actually shaking with fear. The shot of Yannick and Adrian, they're sitting on the edge of the stairwell waiting to stand up to do the picture on the roof. They actually didn't want to stand up until they had to because it was so high. The shot of Nico I actually like because he's quite fearless. I think it's just a nice shot of him which looks a bit different. Take this picture of Adrian backstage at the show. He's holding an axe given to him by a fan who particularly bought it for him. No one seems to know why. I actually just like the shot because it's so simple. The band play in front of 50,000 people. The stage is so high that I can't actually see them from the audience. I have to go on stage and shoot out. January the 17th, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Get up early and go location hunting. Go up to Cor Cavado, the Statue of Christ. Find a place called Martyrs Hill, which has a helipad and has amazing views of the whole of Rio. This is of the helipad at Martyrs Hill. This is Yannick and Nico who wanted to go up for a ride. I wouldn't go, it was too dangerous and I thought it was just too high as it was. This is quite funny really because the band are completely cooperative because they are so hung over. They'd been out the night before to a band dinner and everyone had got very, 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 very drunk. It's amazing they stood there. I think they just stood there because they were so ill they couldn't move. This is of Dave Murray who obviously doesn't trust me and he's checking I'm doing my job. 
This is of Bruce standing on the ledge at Martyr's Mound, thinking he is Jesus. Here are the band on Copacabana Beach. I hope this shot gives you an idea of A, how hot it was, and B, the size of the place, because the beach is absolutely enormous. The shirt Bruce is wearing was actually bought by his wife. I talked him into wearing it. He doesn't normally. I just think he looks really good in it. It actually looks very cool. I just really like the photo. This is a not very happy Adrian and not happy Yannick Gears getting burnt on Copacabana Beach. They would like me to finish this session very quickly as the picture tells. Later on in the day, Steve and Yannick go to a football match at Maracana Stadium. As I passionately hate football, I send my assistant Andrew with them. The two girls with them are actually topless and have been painted with body paint. January the 19th, Rio. Really, it should be January the 20th as the band went on stage at Rockin' Rio at two minutes past midnight. The stage isn't big, it's enormous. It's like being on some kind of giant launch pad looking down at hundreds of thousands of people. The crowd goes as far as the eye can see. There are so many people you can't see where it ends. I've tried to give a sense of the size and the spectacle and what it's like to be on stage with the Iron Maiden. I hope some of the pictures do that, especially the ones when you're looking over the band's shoulder looking out. Enjoy them. <laughs> 